Alrighty, so in this video we're going to talk about securing our SSH and SFTP server. Previous two videos I showed you how to set it up for SFTP, how to set up your CH routing so that the user is actually jailed to his home directory, and I showed you how to set up key-based authentication. Now all of these are steps in the right direction for securing our server, however let's take it a step further. In this video I'm going to show you the settings we can change in the config file and how to install something called fail to ban. What fail to ban allows you to do is actually monitor the log file and if a user logs in incorrectly or attempts to log in incorrectly more than x times in an, let's say an hour we can actually create a firewall rule that blocks their IP address just for a certain amount of time. So let's start. Let's open up our config file and we're going to use our trusty editor called v and we're going to look in etsy ssh sshd underscore config. Okay, so let's scroll down and see what we can change. One of the first things is our port. If we're worried about port scanning, we can go change this to a larger port something that isn't really scanned as often. Personally, I prefer to leave it on port 22, it just makes it simpler for our users. And if you've got proper security in place, it doesn't really matter. Okay, protocol two, by default this is enabled, but let's just make sure. Press I to update, and we uncomment the line, so it definitely enforces protocol two. Let's keep scrolling down see what else we get. Okay, now we get one permit root login. This can be quite a contentious issue. Many people will tell you that you should never allow root login. My personal opinion is that this is outdated thinking. This is not the 1980s anymore and we're not using Telnet. We're using SSH with encrypted uh, passwords. We're not sending anything in plain text. And if we have proper strong passwords and uh, proper security and things like fail to ban, it's really not an issue. So I prefer to leave it there personally. Let's carry on, see what else we have. Okay, host based authentication. I like to uncomment this line and we leave it as no. Let's scroll down some more and we get ignore our hosts. Let's uncomment this line and make it yes. Alrighty, let's keep going. Okay, for our fail to ban that we're going to set up, it's better to use IP instead of DNS. So we're going to change this to use DNS, no. This means that in our log files we'll have IP addresses which are much simpler to blacklist instead of very long, overly complicated um, ISP DNS strings. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we can also create a path to a text banner, some sort of legal information about who and who shouldn't, should not be using the system. Personally, don't really worry about it. And we're done for now. So let's press escape, or colon, WQ, and exclamation mark. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually go and restart our SSH service. To do this, we use our system control restart sshd dot service okay now let's look at installing our fail to ban to do this we need our epel repository and there's a nice new simple way of doing that we go yum install epel dash release and we say yes we do want to download the whopping 14k Okay, and we're done. Now we need to install our fail to ban. So again, we go yum install 
fail to ban. And just say dash y so it doesn't prompt us. And we're done. So now what we need to do is copy our uh, config file to local. So to do this, we go cp etsy fail to burn. And we're going to look at jail.conf. We're going to copy it to the same path. I'm going to call it jail.local. Okay, now we need to create a config file for our specific jail. I'm going to quickly upload one in the background, but don't worry, I will in the comments show exactly what I put in there. Okay, so I've uploaded the config file. Let's just go and look and see what we've put in there. Do that. Let's go. V, let's see, fail to burn. We can look at jail.d and customization.local. Okay, and here we see our config file. Okay, and we can see that uh, <laughs> my copy and paste job has given us a bit of a weird character, so let's update this and make that proper quotation. All right, so ignore IP. Obviously, we want to ignore our local host so we don't lock ourselves out from the console. And we can add our local subnet. Ban time is how long we want to ban that IP in seconds. So 3,600 seconds is an hour. Find time is how long, how far back we're going to look in the log file, and let's look back an hour as well. Max retry, I prefer using five. Now here's where we create our actual rule. We're going to call it SSH IP tables. Enable is true. Our filter, we're looking at SSHD. Then our action, the log we're going to look at, and this is the log for Fedora and CentOS and Red Hat. Okay, so let's escape. Okay, now that we've done that, let's make sure that our fail to ban starts up with our server. To do this, we use our system control, enable fail to ban dot service. Okay, and let's start it. All right, so we've enabled it, we've started, and we now have a pretty secure SSH SFTP server. Thank you for watching, I hope this helps.